My name is Sandile Pajakavambwa and I'm a graphic designer from Namibia. Before I came to the camp, I was working at the Fab Lab in Namibia. The Fab Lab like, does a lot of things. They host pitch nights for SMEs, like come and pitch your idea, businesses. And so like to advertise like events and stuff, I was doing that. Worked on the annual report, just like the design and layout, everything graphic design for the lab. I was an intern as well. So. That's me before the camp. <laughs> One of the previous hivers, David, before I started working at the Fab Lab, he did like a short visit of the lab and he's the one actually sent my boss the link for like when they had an open call for Hive 2 and she sent it to all the interns and I was quite interested in it. I was like, okay, I'm going to try and apply, see what happens. And when I got accepted like for the second round, I was like, okay. <laughs> and yeah, until like I got the interview and I was like, oh my gosh, this is real. <laughs> I guess when I first arrived, it was a bit cold and I wasn't prepared for that because I remember in the email we got, it's like, come with um, summer wear, hiking gear and sports attire. But like in general, this is a lovely place. I love being in nature, so. The project that I'm currently working on is Alola, which is a um, project that's for, it's aimed for kids, children. It's supposed to be like a, a cultural exchange between um, locals and refugees to help them um, share and exchange culture because it's always like the refugees have to integrate and learn about France and the language and it's a lot, we feel it's a lot of pressure but um, locals don't really get to learn more. The project will consist like of a toolkit. The toolkit will be used to facilitate workshops around cultural exchange so we know that like with kids because it's uh, kids between the ages of 8 and 12. We've got like six topics that we want to focus on that focus like um, clothing, uh, sorry, clothing, language, music, uh, cities, food. We're also doing a platform, platform where we uh, try and bring together like um, associations and um, institutions together because obviously we won't have direct access to the to the children so associations like they deal with refugees so we can actually implement the workshops yes I'm sure because um, because I'm very curious as well so if I'm able like to spark people's interest to like to share what I've acquired with them maybe it'll be like that bridge to connect them with the future. I think it will be a cool um, initiative to do something like that. I think it will be a lot of work. <laughs> it won't be like something easy to implement, but yeah, I think there's room for that, especially amongst the young people.